All right, so here's the second part of our muscle contraction videos. Um, so in our last uh, video, we talked about how a muscle cell is stimulated to contract by uh, the nervous system by a motor neuron. Now we're going to talk about, um, and, we, and we saw like that an action potential from an, a neuron can ultimately be brought to um, the muscle cell. And so this action potential, this depolarization um, moves along the length of the muscle. But how does that actually produce contraction? Um, that's what we're going to discuss here. Um, so when the muscle fibers are activated by the nervous system, uh, myosin heads ultimately attach to binding sites on thin filaments and sliding begins. So we had these uh, thick filaments um, with the myosin heads on here, and we have the actin over here. And so we actually attach to binding sites um, on, on, on the, the actin. Uh, so when the action potential sweeps along uh, the muscle cell, uh, calcium um, ions are released from storage. And um, those calcium ions attach, uh, is like this flood of calcium, as we mentioned from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, uh, that acts as the final trigger for contraction. Uh, so uh, calcium binds to these regulatory proteins. <clears throat> these regulatory proteins on uh, the actin filaments, and those proteins undergo a shape change, right? Um, they are no longer the same shape because they have something bound to them that changes their shape, um, and that also changes their position. This action exposes the binding sites on the actin for the myosin heads to bind. So these myosin heads always want to bind uh, to the actin, but sometimes they can't if those act uh, binding sites are covered by regulatory proteins. So the action potential um, allowed calcium ions to be released from the sarcoplasm particulum, and those calcium ions bind to regulatory proteins, which allows them to have a conformation change, a shape change, um, therefore opening up binding spaces um, on uh, uh, the actin filaments. And so we seek out these binding sites. Then um, these... Uh, Myosin heads are sort of set, um, like, like pulling back a mousetrap. Um, and so the myosin attachment um, sort of like uh, snaps it, uh, it, like it forces it to snap towards the center of the sarcomere. So that like, so it like cocked back um, to attach and now it is moving itself forward. Um, so it springs itself forward. ATP provides the energy to do that, right, to release and then recock back um, into position to find another binding site. So it's sort of like uh, rowing, you know, you're, you uh, pull back, or I guess I have to think about this. Um, so uh, you are um, like, you move your paddle in and then you are pulling back, right? Um, and so you need energy to do that. So they're constantly Recocking and pushing towards the inside, recocking and pushing towards the inside. And ATP is providing the energy to release the actin, recock again, um, so that it attaches to a new binding site further down, and we're constantly pushing inwards. Um, this occurs simultaneously in, at all sarcomeres throughout the muscle cell. So we have this um, whole muscle contracting at once because every single sarcomere is getting slightly shorter along the length of the muscle cell. Uh, when the action potential ends, uh, so we no longer have that depolarization that was going on, um, calcium ions are returned to storage in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Um, the regulatory proteins no longer are bound um, to that calcium, so they return back to their original position. That blocks the myosin from attaching, and then the muscle relaxes and settles back to its original length, and the actin will slide back outwards um, as well. So here you can see a relaxed sarcomere, and here is a contracted sarcomere, where the thin um, actin filaments have moved closer together and it is contracted. And notice that the length of our sarcomere from Z band to Z, uh, from Z disc to Z disc rather, is shorter than in the relaxed version. 
Uh, this whole uh, reaction takes thousands of a, of a second. Again, on our PowerPoint, we have a video to watch if you would like.